Hey guys, Jason. My shadow. Yep, power's out. I don't know why. It's like, uh... Oh, well, it's like, uh... You can read that. 3.49 in the afternoon on the 6th. Getting bits of wind, so I, uh... I had to slap together my, uh... Charge control setup. Got my battery down here. This is uh, battery voltage for uh, uh, 12 and a half volts right now. Um, let's see, it's all slapped together so fast. But here's my uh, inverter. This is a 1500 watt uh, modified sine wave. Right now it's running my uh, man cave there. Uh, no problems. I got, uh, I'm pulling, uh, around 250 to 200, well, 200, it's all over the place. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, this is all over the place. I think it goes up to around 260 for my, this is what I'm pulling to my man cave, uh, off of my, uh, inverter here. Um, yep, so I got, uh, all my power comes in. This is uh, power input. Uh, solar and wind comes in here. This splits off and runs my grid ties. They're not working right now. Power's out. The red light's on. It says, hey, power's out, you know. So they're not working. So all this power from my solar and everything goes out this terminal. Kind of rigged up. You know, jury rig. This is, uh, you know, country boy stuff. And that runs down to my batteries and charges my batteries. And then I got my batteries hooked up to my dump load controller. And the dump load controller, um, since right now, uh, well, the dump load controller right now is just running this 100 amp or 100 watt hella headlight or hella driving this off road light for my Jeep that caught fire and burned up but I kept my lights and still work so that's all I have running for my dump load right now but most of the battery voltage is going through my uh, um, inverter right now so that's cool it's working this is kind of my setup this is the way it's supposed to be but it's just wired up really <laughs> really messy look how messy this is wires everywhere I mean no this is not the way it's supposed to look this is the way it's supposed to work, but not the way it's supposed to look. So, uh, you know, I got my whole board up here. I got to fill with all my uh, stuff. <laughs> um, this is amp gauge for the 500. This is my volt gauge, incoming volts uh, from solar and wind power, incoming voltage. This is amp gauge for the 1600 wind speed and this down here is battery voltage so the reason I can do incoming voltage and battery voltage is because this uh, block here uh, separates this is where incoming voltage is taken from right here and this separates it from the batteries right here so um, so this way batteries are down here incoming voltage is right here and this goes to grid tie inverters these guys so all you need to do a setup like mine is one of these battery isolator and you can run grid tie inverters at the same time you're charging batteries and you still want to use dump load controller because when your batteries get full you got to dump that voltage somewhere. And I'm just dumping it to this hella light right now. That's all I. But uh, yeah, so that's all you got to need, you know, to do a system like this. This charges batteries. It runs grid tie inverters when the power is on. When the power turns off, the voltage automatically goes. This is all my incoming voltage right here. Automatically goes straight to the batteries. 
and then uh, the dump load controller keeps your batteries from overcharging. So when I'm not at home, I don't have to worry about my batteries overcharging. But, you know, when the power is on and all, almost all the power is going to the grid tight, just a little bit still seeps through to the batteries. So the batteries charge really slow um, when the grid ties are running, but I, you know, batteries are just for backup power for me if the power goes out. Uh, the main thing for me is dumping my power right into the grid, saving me money every month. So, when the power goes out, I have my batteries. I got four of them. They only have two hooked up right now. But. And then I got my power inverter. I'm going to get another power inverter so I can run uh, some more stuff. This is a 1500 watt. They're pretty cheap off of eBay and stuff. You can get them. Um, modified sine wave works just fine. Anyway, that's my setup, guys. I, uh, I know it looks really messy right now. I'll get it cleaned up. I just had to slap this together because stupid power went out uh, for no reason. So I slapped it up, got it going. I didn't want to waste this power, so now I got the radio cranked and <laughs> drinking a beer. Uh, that guy, he's like almost always going. So just kick it back, drinking a beer. <laughs> Just thought I'd show you my setup. Alright, take it easy, guys.